Hey, what's going on internet? In this video, I want to talk about creating high quality cinematic titles in After Effects. I hope everyone's doing well today. My name is Josh Noel and I'm from Sunduck Film. This video is going to go over how I build high quality cinematic titles really quick by using third party assets. And in full disclosure, these are assets that we are not going to create from scratch. These are assets you have to acquire from other third party sites, either for free or you may be able to purchase some packs. I will go ahead and drop links in the description for free and some of my favorite paid packs. So let's go ahead and jump in this video and let's get started on creating some very quick high end cinematic titles. And if you're not already, be sure to be following me on Instagram. And if you want to chat with me and many other content creators, you can go ahead and chat with us on Discord. Those links are in the description. All right, so here we are inside of After Effects and it's 1.06 a.m. in the morning. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. And simply all I have in here is a title animation. And I'll go ahead and show you the quick settings on the title. And simply all the settings I have on my title is two uh, light sweeps that are you know, moving across the image. And then I also have duplicates of different drop shadows. You can go ahead and copy these settings by looking at it. It's pretty simple. And then I have some very basic, you know, tracking animation here. If you want to learn more about animating text, you can go ahead and check out our five techniques to typography animation. It'll have this very similar animation technique within that tutorial along with four other uh, animation techniques. But I want to jump in this video and show you how you can build out a full, you know, sequence using third party assets. So first we'll take a look at particles which will help us add depth into our composition and I'm using this particle pack out of my favorite pack for After Effects which is called Cine Punch which has 8000 plus elements for After Effects and Premiere including these particles which there are nearly over a hundred of these particle packs within Cine Punch. If you want to check out Cine Punch you can go ahead and check out links in the description and also if you want to download a free particle pack you can check out links in the video description. And however I'll bring this pack into After Effects into our timeline. And here's our clip. And what I have to do is go to blend mode and set it to screen. And now we have particles flying around inside of our composition. And that looks cool. Now I'll bring this one underneath our title. And I'll go ahead and bring in another particle uh, stock element on top of our title. Set that blend mode to screen. And adding these particles add a little bit more atmosphere to our composition very quick. And really what I like about Sydney Punch's particles that there's a handful of different categories neatly organized into its own folders. And now we'll add fog to add atmosphere to our composition. And these fog assets I'm using is from rocketstock.com in a pack called Vapor. And they're used in a pack called Vapor which has over 100 smoke and fog elements that you can add on top of your footage or bring it into After Effects compositions to help enhance your work and to make things more atmospheric. If you want to learn more about Vapor, you can check our links in the video description. So now we'll go ahead and we'll add this fog asset into our composition and I'll bring this right underneath our title. And since it's a 4K asset, I'll need to scale this down obviously. And then we'll change the blend mode to screen. And now we have a little bit more atmosphere inside of our composition and if you want to download free fog elements, I'll drop the link in the video description as well. And here is our overall composition and it looks really nice and it's coming together but we'll have a little bit more work to do. So next up in our third and final asset, we're going to add lens flares to help spruce this up. Now you can get lens flares from a handful of resources. You can use third party plugin like you know optical flares from Video Copilot or you can also download a variety of different flare packs. You know Cine Punch has its own flare pack. One of my favorite lens flare packs is from something called Radium. And Radium has like over 100 lens flares 4K that are absolutely perfect. And I'll drop that link in the video description as well. And essentially I can bring in say, you know, a static lens flare from our pack. And I'll bring this lens flare on top of our title. And you see it has a nice little streak to it, set it to screen. And you know, that looks pretty cool. And then we can add even another one, a moving one, I'll bring it on top of everything and set it to screen. Now we have our particles, fog, and flares combined into one After Effects composition. However, this does not look good because this is not blending together, it's not matching. And that's what I want to show you right now, how to blend all these assets together very quickly. So what we'll do is go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And then we'll go to Effect, Color Correction, and we'll add Curves. And from here we can go to RBG, which is the first channel. And we can darken this down by a little bit if you want to. And you know, we'll come here and create like an S curve on the RGB. And it's really up to you how you want to color correct this. This is just to show some very basic you know, concepts. And then we'll go here to the red channel and we can create, you know, bring this down by a little bit. And then we can maybe skip to the green channel, go right to the blue channel and increase the blue channel by a little bit. 
And now that we have our composition blended together, things are starting to look good. And then also I would go to Effect, Noise and Grain, and I would just add noise to this. And then I would set the noise amount to maybe about 5%, and uncheck Use Color Noise, and this will just kind of blend everything together from a noise perspective. Now if you really want to take this composition to the next level and add a little bit more movement, what I suggest doing here, go ahead and grab all your layers, go to Layer Precompose, and I'll call it All, and click OK. Then what we'll do is hit P on keyboard for position, Alt click the stopwatch and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, point five, comma twenty, close parenthesis. And then we'll just scale this up by hitting S on our keyboard and we'll scale this up by just a few percentage points here. And then I would also add a keyframe for scale and I would move forward in time to end of your composition. And I'd actually have this kind of scale up towards us by a little bit. So now you should have a very effective cinematic title composition inside of After Effects that we created very efficiently using third party assets. So that concludes our third party asset tutorial for creating cinematic titles very quick. Hope you were able to take away a few techniques from this video so you can start building titles a little bit more efficiently. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Sunduck Film. We post two post-production tutorials every single week. And you can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.